this time I'm going to multiply a number with a decimal by a two digit number so I'm going to round both numbers so I can work out my estimate so I'm going to round 6.8 to the nearest whole number which is 7 I'm going to multiply that by and around 36 to the nearest 10, the nearest 10 is 40 so I know that 7 times 4 is 28 so 7 times 40 is 280 so that's my estimate now we're going to partition 6.8 so it's 6 units and 8 tenths multiplied by 36 so I know 6 times 3 is 18, so 6 times 30 must be 180. 6 times 6, I know is 36. So 8 tenths multiplied by 30, well I know that 8 times 30 is 240. And my decimal point would be here, but I know I, that number needs to get 10 times smaller, which means move over to the right once, and my decimal point jumps here. So the answer is actually 24. Then 8 tenths multiplied by 6. Again, 8 times 6, I know, is 48. My decimal point would be here, but 48 needs to move over once because it needs to get 10 times smaller, so my decimal point would be here. Then I'm going to add all of the numbers on my grid in a column addition, starting with the largest, which is 180. So 180. The next largest number is 36. So the tens column in units. Then 24. So you tens and units. And finally, 4.8, so 4 in the units column, so 4 in the units column, decimal point, 8 tenths. Okay, and then I'm going to add those up. So, first thing, 8 tenths, and then I think else is 8 tenths. I must make sure I put the decimal point in place, the decimal point always stays in the same place 6 units add 4 units add 4 units is 14 units, that's 1, 10 and 4 so I'm going to write it 14 like this 8 tens add 3 tens add 2 tens I know it's 13 tens add 1 other tens, so that's 14 tens which is the same as 140 so 14 14 tens, which is the same as 104 tens and 0 units, 140. 100 add 100 is 200. So my final answer is 244.8.